Hi and welcome back to my channel. This week's problem is trying to find the area of the grey square. Now on the left hand side of the grey square it's leaning on a, an orange square of area 12 and on the right hand side of the grey square it is leaning on a blue square, a pink square and a green square and they have got respective areas 3, 12 and 27 as you can see. Now the blue square, the top left vertex of that is touching the vertex of the grey square, as you can see, and the top left vertices of the pink square and the green square are touching the side of the grey square, as you can see. Now, the pink square and the green square are aligned along that right-hand side, so uh, that is a straight line along the right-hand side of the green square and the pink square there. Now, if you want to solve this problem yourself, here are some key points labelled so you can write down your solution in the comments below if you want to. Now, I'm going to show you my solution in three seconds, so if you want to pause the video, pause it now. Otherwise, I'm going to start going through my solution. Okay. Now, the first thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to focus in on the right-hand side. And I wanted to look at these three empty spaces, the three triangles, the three triangular empty spaces that are made between the blue square, pink square and green square and where they touch that right hand side of the grey square there. Now what we can deduce is that these angles here must be the same. Okay, now you can prove that algebraically. Um, so if we called them uh, theta, let's say, uh, then we know they've all got right angles at the bottom right because of the fact that they're squares on, on the right hand side of them. Um, that would then mean the top angle, these angles, would be 90 minus theta, and if you do 180, take away 90, the right angle, take away 90 minus theta, you get theta again, which then means that that top angle, uh, the blue angle, would also be the same. Okay, from there, what we can do is start to work out some lengths by square rooting our areas, so we can get this length is 3 root 3 by square rooting 27, we can get that this length is 2 root 3 by square rooting 12, and this length is root 3 by square rooting 3. Okay, now the next thing I wanted to do is use the fact that the pink and the green square align on that right hand side, so I know the base of the pink square is going to be 2 root 3, and the full length of the, at the top of that green square is going to be 3 root 3. So that means that this must be root 3. Now, because these triangles have all got the same angles, we've got similar triangles here. And we can use a scale factor to work out the base of the other two triangles. So, if we start off going from this medium uh, triangle to the small triangle, uh, how, do I get, how do I get from 2 root 3 to root 3? Well, I times it by a half. My scale factor is a half. So, if I do that with the base as well, I get a base of a half root 3, or root 3 over 2. Now, if I then look at the middle triangle and the bottom triangle, or the bigger one, how do I get from 2 root 3 to 3 root 3? Well, I divide by 2 and I times by 3. So the scale factor for that one is 3 over 2. So that means the base of this bigger triangle is 3 over 2 root 3, or 3 root 3 over 2. Okay, now from there, if I get rid of my diagram and isolate what I've got, I need to find that joint hypotenuse if you like. What I can do is I can introduce this larger triangle on top of all three and I know the full height and the full width. Uh, and the full height, if I look at that, would be 3 root 3 add 2 root 3 add root 3, which would be 6 root 3. And along the base, 3 uh, over 2 root 3 plus uh, root 3 plus a half root 3 would give me uh, 4 over 2 root 3 plus root 3, uh, which is 2 root 3 plus root 3, which gives me 3 root 3. So I've got a width at the base of this triangle of 3 root 3 and a height of 6 root 3. Okay. From there, I can square both of those using Pythagoras uh, and square root them to get x. However, we will see in a minute that I don't need to square root because I am looking for the area of the square, which is x squared, because one of the sides of the square is x. So square them, 27 out of 108 gives me 135. And if we go back to the diagram, there it is. There's our answer. The area of that gray square is 135 units squared. 
If you were able to solve this problem yourself uh, and you did it a different way or the same way, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please make sure to drop a like on the video. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Monday, 5pm for another problem solving video. Till then, bye bye.